Hi, this is Corey from Corey's Coupon Corner, and I'm going to show you the third accessory that I'm going to be installing. This is a shower bar. Um, this will be great once it's installed for my children because I'm going to be able to raise and lower, or they will be able to raise and lower the height of the shower head, which since they're both girls, it'll be a lot easier for them to wash their hair. Um, I'm starting off with the installation in my, doing part of it in my bedroom. Um, this is the only part that was a little bit harder. Um, inside here, the adapter needed to be attached here, and you had to get the screws down through there, and of course my screwdriver wasn't magnetic. So that's the only part that I've had a little bit of difficulty with, so I would definitely suggest um, a magnetic screwdriver. The way that I kind of have been able to get around it, um, what I was able to do here, the screws, and I was able, I'm not sure if you can really see, but I was able to drop the screws carefully through the holes. Let me see if you can, yeah, there you can see the holes. I was able to drop the screws and actually get both screws on the other side into the holes and then put the adapter on the end and then screw it. So I was able to work around not having a, um, a magnetic screwdriver. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and screw this other side in and then I'll take it into the bathroom and start installing it. So I'll be back. Actually, I decided to show you really quickly. Um, I just dropped the screws in so now you can see that the, you can't see through the holes in this video. Let's see if I can get through the top of it so you can see see how the screws are hanging out of the bottom. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up the adapter plate on the bottom um, and then screw it in. So anyway, I just want to show you how to do that. Kind of a workaround if your screwdriver is not magnetic. So it you will still be able to install it, but I definitely suggest using a magnetic screwdriver. Anyway. Okay, so here I am in the bathroom. And obviously you can see that's the... Um, where the faucet is and I was trying to figure out exactly where to install the shower bar and I'm trying to keep in mind that the girls will eventually get taller but right now um, you know I want them to be able to lower it as low as possible so I'm going to be installing the bar here and you can see that the max height is just below where the actual old shower head is um, and so what I'm going to do is you know I established where I wanted to put it. It's going to go here. I already cleaned off the surface and I'm going to pull off on the back just like the application of the um, robe hook and the towel bar. I'm going to be pulling off the sticky part and putting the adhesive in. Okay, so now what I did is I pulled the backing off of the adapter plate and I attached the bar to the wall. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove the screws that are inside that I showed you a minute ago and I'm going to remove the screws to take the bar off and that will just leave the adapter plate and then I'm going to do the adhesive. Okay, now just like with the other two applications, I'm going to be twisting the adhesive through one hole and waiting until it comes out the other hole. I don't know, I'm going to try to do this. Easy to do with one hand. All right, I'm, I'm going to put the camera down for this. Okay, as you can see, I put the adhesive through one hole until it came out the other. It was much easier, obviously, not holding the camera while I was doing it. And um, I'm going to just take a little wipe and clean up the excess adhesive that came out of the hole, just like I did on the other one. And I'm going to let it cure. And I'll be back to do the final install. So now I'm doing the final install and they sent me the Get a Grip Grip Enhancing Compound. I had mentioned that it was difficult to get the screws in, um, let's see if I can show you what I'm talking about. Inside there, you need to screw the screws all the way deep inside there and it was not, I didn't have a magnetic screwdriver to be able to get the screw all the way in. So they sent me this Get a Grip Grip Enhancing Compound and basically what you do is you stick the end of the screwdriver and you have to pardon me, I'm trying to video with one hand and demonstrate. Basically, this is what it looks like. Sorry, it's a little bit blurry. But I'm going to stick the screwdriver end in. And then, I'm to try to show you. Okay, so I stuck the tip of the screwdriver into the compound and you can see that it's holding onto the screw just enough that I'll be able to stick the screw into the hole and screw it in. But I can't do that and video at the same time, so I'm going to turn the camera off for just a moment. 
screw in the final screws and show you. Okay, so you can see that all the way down in there is a screw. I was able to get it screwed in, but you can see how far in, I'm using my daughter's little ladybug flashlight, um, but you can see, let me zoom out a little, but you can see how far in there the screw had to go. That's why it was so difficult, but I was able to get it in. Like I said, if I had a magnetic screwdriver, it would have been much easier. Um, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just tighten. There are these little plastic screws right here that I'm going to tighten because this is the, the position that I want the bar in. So I'm um, tightening the bar. So that's not going to go anywhere. I'm going to tighten the bottom piece of the bar right here. And this last one right here. And then I'm going to put the caps back on. Zoom out. Again, pardon the one, the one hand filming and the other hand doing the project. But I'm going to cap one cap. And so the other cap up top here. installed there. The only thing I need to do now is we're going to change out the shower head, which is just like any other shower head, and then the shower head hooks right in here, and then to raise and lower the shower head, all we have to do is push this button and slide it up, slide down. It's going to be nice and easy for my daughter. Um, once I get the shower head installed and do the plumbing work, I will film the rest. Okay, so we finally got the shower head installed, and you can see my husband is able to move the shower bar down low to the children and raise it up and it's adjustable and on the shower head itself there's various settings so you can change the, the pressure and the speed of the water easy for my children to operate. I'd have them do it right now, but they're in bed already. Um, but all you do is push. There's a button on the bottom right there that you push. You squeeze that button in and slide it up and down. Thanks for watching.